Hey YouTube, Jake Kilroy here back in the shop. Uh, we're gonna put the finishing touches on the drill press vise uh, by installing the Torcom. And after much discussion online and in the comments in the last couple videos, I've decided to give a try to a suggestion made by a variety of viewers several people suggested that um, Brian Block I think being the first um, check out his channel um, check the cards you certainly need to be checking out Brian's channel uh, nobody gets more done with steel on a tighter budget than that man right there um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the torque arm long enough so the torque arm can just rest against the column of the drill press and this could be the reaction arm and uh, just rest up against the side of the column of drill press. And there we go. Um, so what I have here is a piece of three-quarter inch square. Pretty sure it's 416 stainless um, because that's kind of the area in the stash that I got it from. And um, it's about two feet long. Uh, and it's going to mount right in here, like so, um, with a couple of bolts into tapped into the base. So that's what we're going to be working on. Um, first thing to note is when I cut the original recess here, make sure you can see that. Eh, let's move the camera. That's better. So when I cut this original recess here for the three-quarter inch piece, I wanted to use square stock, obviously not rectangular, because I want the arm to work uh, no matter if the vise is sitting on the original bottom or on my new side cut here. So. Um, I cut the slot for that. Uh, when I did so, I used an end mill that had a generous radius here on the corner. So, um, first thing I need to do is mark up this piece of stainless and relieve that inside corner so that this piece will fit uh, flush to both sides of the vice base so that we can set this up in the mill, mark it out, and uh, drill and tap for uh, for the bar here. Uh, we'll be using my favorite tap size, five sixteenths by twenty four. That's it, right? You guessed it. All righty, let's go ahead and just mark this up. I don't want to run the bar too far down this way, or that intersects this curve. Um, so, get it right here. So I'm just going to take a file. Here we go. Uh, and relieve the inside corner of this um, to allow it to sit flush in here on this radius. Be right back with you. All right, I uh, relieve that inside corner, the file over here in the vise, and sits up quite nicely. So next thing we need to do is uh, get this in the mill to uh, drill and tap for our bolts to secure this bar to the vice bed. All right, so we have our vice actually sitting in the drill press in question with the bar, the reaction bar clamped into the slot with a 
uh, two strap clamps going through the vice bed holding it down into the slot and then with this uh, Bessie six inch here holding it with a, with a little block in here holding it sideways into the slot so that it's held firmly into the corner and we're going to go ahead and utilize the function of the bar to drill the hole in the bar we're going to drill one hole here straight down in through the bar into the workpiece into the vice bed and what this hole is centered right above the bulk of the fixed jaw so we have a big rigid chunk of cast iron down here to take this bolt so we're going to drill through all the way we're going to spot with this drill here then we're going to drill with an eye size all the way down to our uh, tap depth I just realized that the drill press handle was in the way. All right, we got a spot. Let's put an eye size in here and drill this baby out. high range here This first three quarters of an inch is four sixteen stainless. So make sure you keep good feed pressure up so you don't work hard in the material. It's not three sixteen, but it's not mild steel either. go now we need to countersink don't you love piloted counter boards
pretty sure that's going to go. Ah. Let me get the chips out of there. Oh, not quite. Just about forgot to drill a clearance hole through the bar here. That would have been a disaster. Favorite tap size. So this is the first run of the tap cycle that I've ever used here. Red stops, the red foot pedal stops it, the black foot pedal reverses it. So that's the one we're going to use here. go. All right. We got a bolt down through this way. I just finished up the tapping with the hand tap here and uh, blew all the chips out. And um, got that in there. And uh, now I'm trying to decide if I should put a couple bolts in this way um, or if one more bolt in this way into the bed would be sufficient I'm pretty sure one more bolt into the bed would be sufficient but I don't really have a real good spot the material back here is very thin it's less than an eighth of an inch and the material up here is well it's about an inch thick here I can put I could get a nice tap basically right underneath the strap clamp and um, that would that would hold give me a, a good hold to the bar so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'll go ahead since I have this bolt in I'll go ahead and get the strap clamp off where's my wrench
right. So I'm going to go ahead and mark off here down towards the end, repeat the process of drill, countersink, tap, and uh, get another bolt in here and then we'll be done with this, this segment. So uh, I'm not going to show you all that again, I'm not going to be repetitious, so I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, there we go. The torque arm reaction bar is mounted. We got our two 5 16 by 24 socketed cap screws uh, in place, which let me roll this over. They go into this meaty section right here. It's all greasy. They go into this meaty section of the vise here. One bolt comes up into here and another bolt into the bed. So it's, it's well secured. Um, it's not going anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and move this back over to the drill press and we're going to give her a test run. So let's get with it. Okay, fellows, we're back at the drill press. We've got the vise up here on the table. Um, it's a reasonably sized vise for a, a machine of this uh, capability, I guess you could say. Um, it, uh, the bar, very nicely swings under the electrical box until you bring the table just about to the maximum extent of its travel and then it actually hits the electrical box so I might need to shorten this up here uh, maybe maybe shorten that up maybe four or five inches in order to give me more movement back back to the table. Uh, the table still articulates but I, I've got it about centered right here. Um, so uh, this is a nice arrangement right here. Uh, you can see the extent of the table travel range here. So it travels a pretty good bit. But anyway, there we go. Uh, there are the vices. And then if we kick it up on the side, Um, there we go. In the now in our new side mounted position, which I think is going to be very handy. Run that down a little bit. There we go. Um, I think that'll work real well. So. Uh, project complete as far as the vice goes. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do any additional work uh, on the drill press vice. So this is that. This is the extent of the drill press project. Next up on the um, alls metal is to build a new stop rod, depth stop. Um, there was one here at one time. Uh, I have dug profusely around the net to find pictures of a similar machine, similar vintage Alls Metal AB4, which is what this is, model SV, and found pictures of the um, stop rod that was here. The stop rod interfaces with the um, tapping cycle as well, so it'll automatically, you can set a stop, it'll automatically stop and reverse the tapping cycle, which can come in really handy in a repetitive tapping operation. So that's something we're going to get to real soon like. So uh, anyway, that's it for the Alls Metal Drill Press Vice. Please comment, like, and subscribe, or tear me a new one if you wish. Be safe in the shop, I'll be back with you soon.